Hi, welcome to another walk down the Hallowood Halls of the Starfleet Leadership Academy. That's where we are going to learn some life lessons from um, Star Trek that have a lot to do with um, who we are as people, uh, how we lead more effectively, and of course there are some biblical principles wrapped in there as well. So it all works. And we look to um, one of the greatest legendary um, fictional characters of all time for some real life lessons. And of course that is the guy on either side of me, uh, James Tiberius Kirk. Um, as I've shared many, many times before, it, um, it really is just Captain Kirk in the Star Trek universe. Yeah, Picard, Janeway, the rest of them, they just don't measure up. A close second would be Captain Archer from the Enterprise television series, another one of my personal favorites, but then he went on to be the head of NCIS New Orleans. That's a whole different story. Um, but for this particular life lesson that we want to learn from the life of um, James T. Kirk, it would simply be this. Don't be afraid to surround yourself with different advisors. Uh, now, there's probably a number of ways to say that. It might be um, surround yourself with people on your team who are different than you. Um, surround yourself with people who think differently than you. Uh, surround yourself with people who have different expertise than you. Surround yourself with people who might have different opinions than you. One of the fun quotes that uh, Captain Kirk offers in one of the episodes is simply this, one of the advantages of being a captain, Dr. McCoy, is being able to ask for advice without necessarily having to take it. <laughs> if you go back and you take a look at the lore of Star Trek, you know that um, James T. Kirk had two best friends who both served with him on the Enterprise. One was Commander Spock, who was the first officer, science officer. Um, his storyline has him um, coming from the planet Vulcan, uh, half human, half Vulcan, always in a battle trying to keep emotion in check. But science and reasoning and just a stoic ability um, to make the most logical choices is what drove his character. And he was a great balance to the emotional James T. Kirk. On the other side was his other best friend, Dr. Leonard Bones McCoy, uh, who was a country doctor, if you will, who became a starship doctor. He was full of wit, um, country style wisdom, but also was prone to outbursts of, of thought. Um, although a scientist and a medical doctor, um, he also was able to be the emotional counterbalance to the Spock character. And both of these were characters that James Kirk would listen to and take advice from. And so their three uh, individual characters formed the relationship that was the hub for that original series and later on would carry on through however many movies that they made in the aftermath. Uh, the one thing that becomes apparent as you watch it, though, and as you watch James Kirk navigate as a leader, is that he trusted these friends, and he never told either one of them they were necessarily wrong, and he never discounted what they had to say. But even in the quote I gave you, one of the great things about being a captain for him was being able to listen to advice but not have to take it. But he would listen, and he was willing to open up and hear point and counterpoint, different points of view that would challenge his thinking, things that would help him round out his thoughts. That's what makes a great team. If everybody on the team is a yes man or everyone on the team simply says the same thing, it's not really a team, it's really just a bunch of clones. And who wants to hang around with a pack of clones? Instead, when you have a great team, you have some different folks with different abilities, different talents, different gifts. And if you're a leader, you try to surround yourself with that kind of team because they will give you perspective, they will give you insight, and they will give you a way of seeing things that are different, that will stretch you, and ultimately, as a leader, make you better. And if you lead well, it will make them better. One of the things that happened throughout the Star Trek series is that um, although they had differences of opinion, and although they approached the world very differently at the end of the day, they were loyal to one another, and they were incredibly successful as a team, accomplishing whatever mission was set out before them. If you want to be successful in this journey as a leader, if you want to be successful in this journey called life, you don't do it by yourself, and you have to have folks in your orbit um, that will help make you better. 
Captain Kirk certainly did that in the series, but in real life where it really is more important, you have to do the same. And so that is a lesson that we learn in the halls of the Starship Leadership Academy, uh, lessons that will make all the difference in the long run. And so until next time, live long and prosper.